So some of you may have more than one device in your house. Some of you may have more streaming devices for family, friends. Some of you may just want to help people out. Have you ever wanted to move? I know you can do it on your phone really easily because they built like that, but maybe move an app you have on a streaming device, whether a Fire Stick, Android TV, to another streaming device, even if it's in the same house. Without having to download from the original source, you might not know where you got it from. And to make life easy, we just do it all in the same place. Have you ever wanted to? Let me know. Have you ever struggled to do it? And do you set up Fire Sticks for people just to help out? I know you don't do the dodgy stuff. Well, I'm going to show you a really easy trick and you can do it really simply. And we're going to do it a live demonstration while doing it. So let's hope this works. So we're going to try, we're going to demonstrate moving one app from a Fire Stick here to a Fire Stick there and watch how we do it. So first of all, what you're going to do is install an app called FireSend. Yes, I've been banging on about it because it does more than just what you think. This is just going to be one part of it today. So go to your app store, whichever device you're on, or if you're on your mobile phone, you can do it from there as well. App store, go there, and you're going to search FireSend. You're going to click FireSend. You're going to install it. We're going to let it load up. We're going through some tweaks at the minute. FireSend will load up. It will tell you if you're protected or not. Brilliant. We're going to tell you if my head's in the way. Normally is. Let's put it out there. Um, there's also, if you want to support FireSend, it runs off donations. That's how we cover all the hosting, but that's nothing to do with it. We're not going to have to log in. You don't have to create an account. This is 100% free. You're going to click on where it says share apps. And what will happen is this will pop up. Be patient with it. This will load up a list of your apps on your device. If any permissions need activating, do that as well. But it should load up all the apps on your device. So what you will do, you will then pick what device you want to move. OK, so you can move any app over to a different device. So we will move, for example, let's sign something. It doesn't really matter. So say you had on here any of them. You can just pick any of them, really. I'm going to upload. Let's upload this one. I won't name it. So you click it and that will upload. Some cloned apps don't upload properly because of how they've been cloned. That's nothing to do with this software. That's to do with how they've been cloned. So that's slightly different. So we wait for it to upload and it will upload into what is known as a room. OK. So behind my head is the room code 10653. So let's go to a different TV in the house. OK, then. So let's do this live. You don't want to... Let's go to another house, another house, another room in the house. We're not going to go out to another house. OK, so into my front room. Here we have a TV with a Fire TV Cube on it. OK, so it's a later Android version. Um, we're going to go to the magnifying glass. You can do it on any Android, like I said. We're going to search FireSend. FireSend. We'll click that and we'll install it. OK. So while that's installing and loading up, I'm going to quickly go back because I forgot whatever the room number is. So room number was 10653. As you'll see, we're doing live still. You'll see I'm not protected on this one because it's not my, you know, I haven't fired up my VPN yet. I've just literally just turned it on, as you saw. So we've gone to share apps, which is wrong because we're not trying to share apps yet. We are trying to go to rooms and we're going to join a room, which was one zero six five. We've joined that room and here is that app that we installed. We can download that. These rooms will then last on there. That will then pop up and you do your usual process, install. And go back to my office. Simple as that. And you can do it from any device to any device, Android app to Android app. This obviously can be used for things as well. It can be used for, I don't know why I'm talking to you now. Let's get back on the computer. So we're back in here again. We've uploaded that. We've downloaded it on another TV. But that doesn't need to be on the same network or anything like that. You could type in that code. You can download anywhere. It doesn't matter. OK, so if you had any issues with that, quick thing to do, like any downloader on any device, you should make sure permissions are turned on. We demonstrated that on the other TV to download, but just check your permissions. That might be why you can't find your apps to upload. So go to settings. 
Go to My Fire TV and go to Developer Options. If you don't have Developer Options, you just click on where it says About, um, and you click on the top one seven times. That will make you a developer. So when you go back, Developer Options, you can turn Install Unknown Apps on. You can turn it on for Fire Send. Okay, so that's a good one to have for your installing side. Um, you can also check out the app permissions themselves. It is useful to have access to media on it. So let me have a little look here. So if you go to applications, these are just a few little teething things just in case you're having issues. Manage installed applications. Scroll down to Fire Send. Permissions. Um, files and media. Allow access. That's if you want to be able to delete anything or anything, but it's not necessarily, but it can help. And obviously you can remove the permissions if the app isn't being used. Few there which might help tweak it. Check out the app itself by going on it as well. There's so much more than just moving, like we said there. Um, so load up your Fire Send. It will tell you if your VPN is running. Um, that's been updated, so it should work. If you have a VPN connection made, it's not based on your server or your IP address. It's whether your Fire Stick is making a connection, that VPN connection. You know that first time pop up when it says, you're about to create a VPN connection. If that's triggered, then it will say you are secure, like mine does. You can go onto the internet. Um, you can even enter downloader codes if you want to. Um, or you can just search the internet. You've got rooms. You can enter that room we did here as well if you wanted to. It's not a problem at all. Um, you've then got favorites. Join your room, favorites, privacy. There is raffles and daily will, but that's all for if you're um, logged in. But we're doing this all without logins. There's install guides. If you're having any issues, we're going to get a few more in there as well on how to install ABKs, create a room, enabling unknown sources. Check out the guides. People say, oh, such and such. How do you do that? There's a whole guides on there. Or you can go to firesend.download. And if anybody does want to support the project, the support project part is in there as well, where you can just donate if you want to. That's completely up to you. Just by scanning that QR code or going to the link. Optional. It just helps managing all these apps which we're uploading into a cloud. We need to host them somewhere. But that's neither here or there. Brilliant. So I've been Dr. Squiffy. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon.